Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jess with Jess's Magical Memoirs and today we are finally planning for the month of March. So if you wanna see how I'm planning this month, stick around cause that's coming up right now. Okay, planning fam, welcome back to my channel. And like I said, we are finally sitting down to plan for the month of March. I debated even doing this video for you guys because I hate putting out these monthly plan with me's in the middle of the month, but I'm kind of like scrunched for ideas right now just because I've been extremely busy. So I said, you know what? This is simple. I have to do it. Let's just get it recorded and get it up for, for the community, for you guys. So today is actually March 11th. <laughs> So I am planning pretty late in the month. That's late for me. Like I try to get it done the first week or right before that, but life's been kind of tough. Um, I've been dealing with some pretty gnarly, um, gnarly, I never say gnarly. I've been dealing with some pretty crazy um, migraines and vertigo symptoms. Uh, plus I have that new job. So I've just been, things have been kind of crazy. So as I'm talking to you guys, I am still dealing with a little bit of lightheadedness, but I need to just push through this because I need to get you guys some content out. I'm feeling so guilty about not putting out as much content as I was. So yeah, it is the month of March, which means it is St. Patrick's Day month. And I'm going, and I try, I generally try to do my monthlies in like a seasonal or a holiday theme. So we're sticking with that trend and I have my old All in a Season Happy Planner Mega sticker book here. And in here we have got a little bit, not a ton, but a little bit of St. Patrick's Day stickers. You can see I've used some in the past, um, but we've got two pages worth, plus a bunch of uh, four leaf, I would say four leaf clovers, but I don't think those are four leaf clovers, <laughs> but with St. Patrick's Day clovers. So plan is, oh, and this is some uh, St. Patrick's Day washi. This is super old. This is from Sweeping Plans. Sh I don't think this is available on her shop anymore. So it's like really old. But my plan is for this spread is I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a whole little like stream of, of clovers going across the entire month. And then at the end of the month, I have one sticker that I really want to put, that I really want to add in. I'll show you guys. I don't think there's one in here or else I would use it. Yeah, no. Let me show you guys. Hold on one second. So this is another St. Patrick's Day sticker sheet. This is from Recollections uh, from Michaels. And I'm saving most of these stickers for a different spread, but there is a pot of gold in this one and I basically want to put the pot of gold at the end of the trail of the clovers. I think it'll be really really cute. So that is my plan for this spread. So we're going to go ahead and pull out these pages and get started. Okay so hopefully you guys can see this okay. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my planning. I've been struggling since starting my new job and I kind of just wanted to take like five minutes or so to kind of like talk to you guys about that. Um, I'm probably going to be saying um a lot in this video too. I hate doing that. I'll cut out what I can, but my brain is, I've got some extreme brain fog going on you guys just because of how my head's been lately and my schedule and how quickly things have become pretty different for me. So my brain is just not handling the stress of it all very well. So if I sound like I'm talking maybe a little bit slower or I'm saying um and but and so a lot, that's that's why. So yeah, I started a new job. I'm trying to figure out where do I want. I think I'm going to put this the washi up top. I started a new job on, I think it was the second to last week of February. No, the last week. So I've been there two weeks now, I think. Um, already had to take time off because of being sick and then the kids... So that's kind of stunk, uh, but I kind of knew like that was what was going to happen. But anyway, I work in a warehouse and I didn't realize it was going to be a warehouse until I like had the interview, like the in-person interview. 
So I've kind of been struggling with that. Um, make sure this lines up. I, I didn't know that that's too high. Hold on guys, let's get this washi tape down first. Okay, I think that's better. I didn't know that I was actually going to be like in the warehouse. I thought I was going to be, or like the machine room. I thought I was going to be in the back offices with my boss and like our bosses. So like the girl who owns the company and runs the business and all that. So when I found out I was going to be sitting, is that okay? Yeah, it's good enough. When I found out I was going to be sitting in that area, I, you know, I was like, it's cool. It's okay. You know what I mean? I'll make it work. Um, I just was a little confused because, you know, my title is shipping administrator. And I feel like, I don't I guess I just assumed like I would be in the back with them and I shouldn't have assumed that. So I suppose that's on me. Uh, do I want to fix that? That's kind of, we're going to fix that. I don't like how close that is to the three. Um, so that kind of threw me off guard at first. So because of that, I'm in the room where there's like a lot of heavy machinery and noises and vibrations. You know, I work in a manufacturing building. There's other companies around us that like vibrate and make really loud noises. Uh, we are allowed to bring headphones, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> and there's also like fumes from the machines because she makes acrylic pieces and wood pieces. The wood isn't as bad, but when they run those acrylic machines, it's, it's stinky. And the filtration system's been not working right. So <clears throat> I don't know if that plays a part in what's been going on with my head, but I have been like having massive migraines. They come and go. They're worse in the mornings from laying down. So I don't know if it's more a vertigo thing, but I was dealing with this problem a while ago and it finally subsided and went away and it's come back since I've started this new job. I don't know if that's just a coincidence. Um, it could just be extreme stress because I have been dealing with a lot of unnecessary stress, I suppose. And it might be catching up with me now that like my schedule has changed and I've got this job now. I work nine to two. I'm supposed to work nine to two Monday through Friday. Uh, the last couple of weeks, I've had a couple of days off in the middle just because of doctor's appointments for the kids and then myself getting sick and we had a snow day too. It was snowed about a lot. So that's kind of all affected my hours. However, I'm now doing that and trying to take care of the house and the kids and do all these crazy appointments and deal with my health. So sitting down to plan has kind of been not at the top of my list so to speak. And I've been feeling really guilty about it. And then I had got delayed with my last, um, my last video that I did for you guys. Uh, that's the, uh, the haul that I did with Mojo Jojo plan stickers. I'll link it for you guys if you want to check it out. But that went up really late because I couldn't sit down and plan. I mean, edit for long because of my head. So it's been a struggle y'all. I've been on the struggle bus <laughs> and it stinks. I don't know what to do. Um, clearly my health comes first. So I've got some appointments coming up. I still haven't heard from the neurologist. So I, I meant to call him yesterday and I just got so busy with other things. My husband finally got his car fixed. So we were dealing with that yesterday. So I really need to call the neurologist on Monday and find out like, dude, when can you get me in? basically. So I can find out what's going on with my head. I don't know if there's something more serious going on. I hope not, but we will, we'll figure it out. I think what I want to do here is start small and then go big. I think that's what I'm thinking. So like a bunch of little ones and then kind of slowly stream out 
sporadic with the bigger ones. Let's put that pot of gold down first because I want that to land in a specific spot. So here is the little pot of gold sticker, so cute. I know I keep moving this, sorry guys. I'm like all over the place. All right, I want this to be right here. And we're gonna stick that there. I almost wonder if I should put my boxes down first just because uh, there's, oh, there's a lot going on. <laughs> uh, hold on, you guys. All right, we're gonna use these because those are the colors that are in here. Um, I think how do I want to do this let's do this one let's do a big one for today do a big circle for today. Um, unfortunately I don't know how that happened but we have everything on this side and nothing over here. I am gonna put something down though. We're gonna put like this sticker here for the Spring Begins Day. I think that works. And then I think I'm gonna put a little one, let's do a little dark one on this one for Daylight Savings, just as like a little reminder. And then we should put another one of those over there Maybe we'll do it for this day, since it's just something Skylar's got going on at school. Just a little something for her. And that way we can still put the St. Patrick's Day sticker on there as well. All right, now let's get some like boxes. Make some box stickers. We need a dark green one on this side, so maybe we'll put that one here. I don't need a super big sticker for this one. And then I feel like this one needs a bigger sticker. Let's do this one. We have another lighter one, I feel like. And then maybe a darker one for this one. Do I have any more darker ones? That, I don't know. I do. Do we do a little one? Or another big one? I kind of wish I had like a medium sized one, but I don't. Uh, we could do this one. Actually, I think I'm gonna bring in that mint color. I think, is it the darker one? Let me look. No, it's like the lighter one. I think it's this one. I'm going to bring in this mint color here. I think that works. And then we'll put another one up there. Do I have one? Oh no. Oh no, I don't have one. Um, I wanted like a little one. All right, well, I'm going to put this one over here. I don't know what I'm going to put there. But just to bring that color over, I am thinking this color, if I can find one. I think I might only have it in a big box, though. Oh, wait, hold on. Here we go. Let's put this one here. Even though this already happened, you guys, I'm still, like, putting it in, you know? And now I feel like I need that box over here somewhere. I only have a big one left. So I think that's what we're going to have to do. Maybe what we'll do is we'll put it on the sidebar with that. Or should we put it here? Did anything happen on the 7th? No, 7th I stayed home sick. <laughs> Although no, actually we did have something happen on the 7th. I can write that in. Okay, that works out perfect. I know that it gives me two big boxes here, but there's really nothing I can do about that now. Maybe we can put a quote sticker there. Let's see if I have anything I can stick there before we do these clovers. Um, I 
feel like this living with the dream is like that's like the perfect spot for that or like the feeling lucky what do I want to do I feel like maybe we should do this one yeah you know what I'm gonna my OCD is like it needs to go higher so I'm just gonna move this up here I couldn't do it you guys I couldn't do it it's trying to be different but I couldn't do it y'all go back to being upside down see what I mean you guys I keep my brain is just like not doing too hot right now okay that's cute I like that all right I think that's good for now oh you know what maybe we should fill in our sticky note our um, stickers first I don't usually do this with you guys uh, in the beginning but I want to have enough room as possible to place those clovers. And if I have these sticky notes everywhere, it's going to um, like warp my view, my vision. So I am going to speed you guys up really quick while I fill out these boxes for everything going on. And then I'll be back. Okay, y'all, that took way longer than I uh, anticipated. <laughs> I had to like double check a few things, so it took longer than I wanted it to. I do want to put in a rainbow sticker. I have one, but it's big. I don't know like, 
how I feel about it. I don't want to put it down here because that's where the other stuff is going to go, like the clovers. I feel like I could put it here and then just rewrite 11. I feel like that could work. I think this is going to be like the best possible spot for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And we will write back in 11. Like that. No, oh, that's crooked. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> All right, that's cute. So now that we've done that, we are gonna go into our clovers and get started. I obviously am not gonna talk to you guys while I do this entire thing, but I kind of just wanna show you a little bit of what I'm thinking. Um, for me, it's gonna be letting go of like balance of colors, but I wanna start up here in the corner and just like create a little, like a little trail. And I think it could be really cute. It doesn't have to be like perfect. I think my plan is just to keep rotating the, um, the colors. do like a dark one over here like that and then a mint one kind of off to the left a little bit I want to keep it kind of like thin and then slowly bring it out I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have enough for this I hope do like another dark one I feel like you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this now I think we're gonna start like widening it widening it just a just a little bit let's widen it up and I can always like go back in and like fix this after if I want um let's do a dark green because it's probably gonna need to be need to be like fixed up as I go. Um, I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like that there. So as you can see, I'm going to be a little picky with this, which is why I said I'm probably going to speed you up for the most of this. So I am going to finish this up and you guys will see kind of like how I, like once I get into like this area over here, I'm going to start bringing in bigger, bigger ones. So here we go.
All right, you guys, so this looks really cute. Um, I went into my Seasons of the Year sticker book by the, um, by the Happy Planner. I mean, not the Happy Planner, sorry, the Passion Planner. And I just needed like a little baby flower sticker to put here. And when I went in there, I saw this. And I figured this would be really cute to add to this side since we have a rainbow over there. So I think this will be really cute to do. Just have to get it to fit the way I want it to. Perfect. So you have like a little bit of touch of color there, a little bit of touch of color here, and then a little bit of touch of color in the washi. So now I'm just gonna get my scissors and we are going to cut this little part of the planner. And look at how cute that is. I think that came out so cute. I do need to highlight, so we're gonna get a green marker. Actually, do I wanna do mint? I'm thinking of maybe doing the mint color. I don't know. Either that or like a darker green. Or a darker green. Let's see. I feel like that's not dark. But then if I go too dark, it's going to be like, I'm not going to be able to read anything. All right, I don't, I don't think I like that. The other option is to do like a yellow. Like a golden yellow. Uh, is that the right yellow? It's almost... Yeah, that one's a little bit better. It's a little bit lighter. You know what? Let's do yellow. I think we have enough green. Let's go yellow today. And usually I rotate these, but today I'm just going to do it all in yellow. Keep it easy. Keep it simple. Just because there's so much green already, I feel like any more might overpower. Might overpower a little too much. So as you guys can see, March is crazy this month, <laughs> this year I mean. March is usually a pretty dead year for me. Oh my gosh, I'm mixing up month and year. You guys, y'all, I need some crazy rest. I need a vacation. <laughs> um, March generally is not a crazy month for me, but this year, I got a lot going on. <laughs> we are pretty busy. I really like the balance of the yellow. Oh, I missed one. We missed one. That's... Uh-oh. It's this one. Um, yeah, we just have, like, a lot of doctor's appointments. Uh, the kids have stuff going on. It's spring. It's St. Patrick's Day. And... Why it's going to be starting baseball. So there's just like a lot of stuff. There's just a lot of stuff going on. But I really, I really like how this came out. It's really simple. Nothing too crazy. I will go in after I get off camera with you guys and write in all of the bills. But I really like it. I think it's fun and carefree. Didn't take too much thought. It's just a little time consuming. I hope you guys like this video. Again, I'm sorry it's going up so late. But I said, you know what? I'm just going to plan it and put it out for you. Uh, thank you guys so much. If you're new here, I would love it if you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and to hit that bell notification. It really, really does help me out and help the channel out to get to other planner people just like us. And that's it for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Happy planning and stay magical. Bye!